Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. Today's workout is full body hit, no equipment. That's right, we're just using body weight as resistance today. There are two blocks of work, 10 moves, 35 seconds of full out effort with a 12 second transition. And we're gonna go through this two times. So on that second round, I want you to try to just level up a little bit. All you need to do is clear some space, grab a sweat towel, water, and hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel and that bell so you do not miss any workouts. If you're looking for more content, you just can't get enough of us, make sure you click that join button below. Roll your shoulders back, brace your core, take a deep breath, set that intention, we're gonna have a great workout. We're gonna start with a little hamstring curl, heels to the butt, and then open and close that chest. You are gonna see this move in the hip workout where we go faster, so we're gonna be calling it butt kicks. Keep a little bend in the knees, really open those arms out to that T. Hope you're ready for this workout. We're gonna be squatting down, and then good morning, hands on the hips, hinge forward. So here's where we bend the knees. Keep a little softness in the knees as you lengthen out with a strong, long spine. So my spine stays straight. It helps to warm up the back, your hamstrings. And then every time you go into that squat, try to deepen the squat, but to your heels, We're gonna be lunging back one leg, reach it up and around, and switch. Take your time, really lengthen up. I like to kind of look upward as I reach. A little stretch in your neck. Big inhale as you stretch it back. One more, and then we're gonna come into a down dog. So choose which side you wanna be on your mat. Hips go up. And then either plank or go into a little up dog. And just let it flow. And when you go into your down dog, make sure you're stretching those heels down. Get a little calf there. Stretch out the wrist a little bit. Down dog, walk back to your feet, roll yourself up. We're getting into some lateral lunges. We'll step out to one side and then the other. In a lateral lunge, push your hips back. So we wanna use this as a warm up stretch or actually some mobility in the body. Just your inner thighs. And to finish it off, march or jog. If you're jogging or marching right, I want face, your hand goes face, cheek, butt, cheek. Because we're gonna be using that movement in the workout. And then there should be effort in the arms, not just the legs. Light on the feet no matter where you are. A little smile on the face, because we're excited. All right, little twist in that waist. We're gonna get ready for that first move. It is a squat right knee up. And we're gonna be punching out to that knee. Shake it out, get that body ready. Squat knee just on the right side because the second move, we're doing it on the left. Have your feet a good shoulder width apart. Drop in the squat and then punch out past the knee. Inhale down, exhale up. And there's power in that standing leg. So most of the weight is in my left leg. Use the core to pull that knee up. Drop your butt back in that squat. Give me one more. All right, just move around. 
Same thing on the other side. So in that 12 second break, it's deep breaths here. It's gonna help you keep your fire stoked here. Squat, other side. Now try to keep your eyes a little lifted and drop down low. That punch is gonna force you to twist. Again, push through the heels in that squat. Lateral walk for two. Jump is an option. I start to one side on my mat. You could definitely do this not on your mat. You stay low. So two steps over and a little jump. If you don't want to jump, you're just lifting your heels off the floor. When I do that lateral walk, I stay low. Arm options too. They go down or they can go up. When we land, we try to land gracefully. Good lateral steps. All right, we're gonna start firing it up. We got a burpee with a kick. I'm gonna face Diane. I'm gonna step or jump back, come up, kick with the front leg, and then do the same thing with the left. Hands down, feet back, kick. And if you need a modification for this, you can do a lunge, kick, step in. Lunge, kick, step in. So take your option. When those feet hop forward, use that core, press off the hands. Nice job. Whew, that got the fire going, didn't it? Get yourself ready for that butt kicker. So we did this in the warm up. Butt kicker, heels to your butt. Open and close the arms. Light on your feet. And I can stay right here. But use the arms along with the legs. Light on the balls of the feet. Core is brace. That's going to help you with that impact. And then we're getting ready for forearm plank. On your elbows, tap the foot out to the front, to the back, and then come on your hands, and it's right knee, left knee. So on the forearms, tap foot to the front, to the back, come up to the hands, knee, and knee. Then you're back down. We're throwing in a moving plank some mountain climbers. If you want to level up, you can jack and then do four quick mountain climbers. So if you come down, you could jack two. Come on up, four quick knees. It's just a way to change it. Super job, we're up. One of my favorites is a low jack. Remember, if a low jack is too much for you, come into a jumping jack. You can tap jack, so I'm staying low. Out, in. That's my low jack. I can step it out, but I'm staying low. So I have low jack, right? If you want more challenge, tempo up. Pay attention to your legs. Press to the edge of your foot as it opens out. Have those feet turn in different directions. They face forward. Exhale on the in part. On your back, looking at the ceiling, tuck the knees into the chest, and then I extend them out, and then open them up like you're doing jumping jacks. So knees tuck in, press out, open legs, close legs. I'm gonna put my hands 
by my head and look to my thighs. You can always put them underneath the hips. When I roll in, I'm trying to bring those knees toward my shoulders. Oh, there's a lot going on here, right? Ooh. We come up for a hot knee, rock up quickly. Four hot knees and four jacks. Remember, you can take out the hop. Any of the jumping, you can take that out. I'm gonna push forward as I hop. Four, three, two, jack, push up. Four. Knee press. Like be here. Still working hard. I like how we are in sync, right? <laughs> Sometimes it just happens when you're in a group. Finish the act four, let's finish on three, two, one. Woo! Squat. This is a tough one. We're gonna squat, lunge back, single dog. So you're squatting, lunge one leg, Single dog, step front squat, let's go. Other leg lunges, leg goes up. So I'm staying forward, squat, switch legs. Lunge, single dog, and squat, switching. If you do a lot of workouts with us, you know this is one of my favorites. All right, you're up, breather, catch your breath. You've got 30 seconds, you guys. What do you do? Quick sip of water, because it's gonna be going by fast. And then we're back for the squat knee. 18 seconds, it's quick. So we're gonna squat right knee, we're all good. You at home, you good? Ready to roll? Here it is, punch it out, right knee. Squat, knee. Let's well, see, now you're warmed up. You're getting deeper. Remember, you can slow this down. Sometimes when we slow it down, it can be harder. More control. Really twist it, punch it down. Give me some effort on the punch now. Boom. And you can say those things. Super job. Okay, other side. Knees are an issue. Smaller in the squat, right? I could just focus on knee coming up. Drop, punch. So I'm feeling that right leg working. My core. Should be breathing heavier at home now, right? Lateral, let's start on this side. Stay low. So this is a strength with, with a little bit of that cardio. Shoulders back, course brace, chin up. Two steps and jump. When I walk over, feet face forward. Pushed out on the edge of the foot. So when I'm walking, I'm in this position. Hi, Jen. Okay. Right. Hi, you. Right. Nice lateral movement. Burpees are coming up with that kick. Let's face Carol this time. Remember, you can lunge kick if you don't want to come to the ground. Make this work for you. No excuses. Hands down, front foot kicks. Back foot. 
Light on the balls of the feet in that burpee. And again, using core to kick that leg. Yeah, how are you feeling then? You doing good? Butt kickers with the fly arms. So we're flying, arms out. Think of it as a hamstring curl. Heel to your butt. The legs are kind of open out. Just really open up. Then we're in forearm plank with a tap or jack. And the two knees on the hands. Let's face Carol again. On your elbows. Tap or jack. You can also put elbows on bench. Tap or jack on the hands. Two knees or quick four. Do what's right for your body, but make the movements you know, as good as you can. You don't want to cut yourself short on range of motion if you're trying to do something that's too advanced. Great job. Ooh. On your back. Oh, we're up. Low jacks, come on up. We're coming down soon enough. We're in low jack position here. Out, in, right? One more challenge, reach down. Down, up. Four, go faster. And stay low. Oh my gosh, your core, your legs. Push through the whole foot. Come on, who's turning it up? Let's go. Out in. Next move is on your back. We're gonna tuck it in. Push it out with the jack feet. Woo! We're gonna face you again, Carol. Or Carol, yes. I was gonna call you something else. I don't know. <laughs> tuck in. Push out jack legs. Tuck. Extend. Open. Close. And again, knees are coming toward my shoulders. I'm having my knees bent. There's the straight legs. You tuck in. Use the exhale when you tuck in. Oh, this one gets that whole midsection, huh? Your inner thighs are connected to your core. Rock up, hop knee. Take out the hop, right, if you need it. We're gonna push front to that hop knee, and then the jack, we're pressing up. All right. I like this move. A little jumping is good. Four. Jack press. I want a bigger knee. Right here. Push, two, slam them away, reach. Effort in the arms. Right there, come on. Push. Finish the jacks. Squat, lunge back to single leg dog. Facing you, Carol. We're gonna make sure you're doing it right. Take your options. Front leg lunges back. Back leg goes up. Step forward. Squat and switch. So you're staying low when you come in. I was watching Carol's leg. I think Carol was gonna get hit by that baby. Right? Here we 
responsible for switching those legs. So you gotta think, right? One more. Nice job. Woo. Okay, you are at the end of block one. You're gonna catch your breath and come back for block two. Great job. When you're doing your single, single, double run, quick hands. All right, so one, two, pull. One, two, double hop. So you feel your arms working and it comes from the shoulder, not your elbow joint. Start on this foot. One, two, double hop. One, two, hop, hop. Quick, quick, pull, pull. Knees come up on the double. You can move a little bit. Kind of like a Heisman, right? Quick, quick, pull. Double hops are good for ankles. You can march. Knee comes up, come on. Woo, yeah, see, so feel the arms. Up and over in that lunge. We'll start in the middle, on the mat or off the mat. I'm gonna come off my mat. I'm gonna lateral lunge, jump up and over. To the other side. I lean away from that leg that's in the middle and reach up. I don't have to jump. Inhale. We got curtsy lunges coming up. Right leg is gonna, gonna stay stable. You're gonna curtsy, lunge, curtsy knee. So your left leg goes back. I hold curtsy, stay low. So curtsy, lunge, curtsy, knee. Slow it down. I want you to drop your chest over that thigh. If your balance is off, just tap that foot. But you're coming up. So stay low. Work on some mobility in your knee. One more here, come on. Get the knee up. Great job, other side. Don't rush this one. Right, feel that. Getting curtsy. So I'm gonna drop, go to the lunge, curtsy, knee. Looking out in front. Pushing your heel that's in the front. So my left leg, I'm in the heel. You're gonna feel a lot of quad. The oblique. Sit back. So I sit back, but I'm leaning a little bit forward. Great job. Push up. You're dropping down. You're going to give me a super. And then you're going to come up and come to elbows. Back to hands. So we got a moving plank in there. Come to plank. Lower down. Give me a super. Push back up, elbows, and hands. Lower down, slow lift. If you don't like the elbow plank, you can take it out. Make it your own. Mindful movement right here. When I lift, I can lift arms and legs. Use that whole back side. We are up. We're gonna do a quick shuffle with a burpee. The option is to lunge it back. Ooh, watch your space here. So a little shuffle, burpee. You might come into somebody else's mat. And it depends on the space you have at home. Go to your pace.
get your own a one-legged burpee. Outside foot stays on the ground. You didn't think I could do that, huh? <laughs> Relax. Woo. Leap forward. Sumo walk back. And then I'll show you the advanced version. So we have our feet wide. Keep them wide. Leap forward. Walk back. You could even just walk it forward and back. You could leap and beast walk back. But you gotta walk back quick on the beast. Woo! And you could do a couple that way. Heel toe, butt low. Great job. Oh, I felt that a lot too when I was just staying in the monster walk. How about you? Push up, rotate. Catch your breath. Come to plank. Push up. Reach to us in the front. Hello. And then we're going to go to the back. Lose your toes in that push up. Take your time. Right? When we do change tempo, it can make the workout feel different. Pull the abs up and in when you're in that plank. We're gonna be on our back. My feet are gonna go towards Diane. I'm gonna do a quick little scissor with the legs. Hands can be behind the head, by the hips, under the hips. You determine, and I'm gonna scissor them fast and low. So this is gonna help keep the heart rate up. I'm gonna look to my thighs. I'm gonna give myself some neck support with the elbows wide. Straight legs, come on. Yeah, I saw those knees bending, right? You know who I'm talking to, right? Ooh. Yeah, maybe that person at home, right? <laughs> it's only who I can see in the corner of my eyes. <laughs> Ooh, who's that? Nope, no blame games. Just mindfulness. You're up. It's a back lunge kick, jump switch, or tap in. We're still gonna face you, Diane. Start at the front of your mat. Front leg lunges back. Lunge, kick, drop in and switch. Lunge, kick, drop, switch. Jen's got you with the no jump. When I'm gonna do my jump, I'm gonna touch first before I kick. I'm gonna guarantee that I get low in my lunge. Keep your feet separated. This is on the tight rope. Really reaching for the foot. I'm tapping my big toe. Woo. Break, 30 seconds. On the clock, get some water. Towel off and go for that level up on round two, you guys. Yes. Whew. Eight seconds, you ready? Here we go. Run, single, single, double. Single, single, double. Turn it up. Round two. But give me all that you can. Knee comes up. Arms, strong. Ooh, there's a rhythm in here. Elbows go push back. Come on, one more. Up and over. Feel the difference, right? When you push those elbows back. We're going off this side. Lateral up and over. Up. You can say that. In the middle. Reach. High intensity. Right now. You don't have to jump to get high intensity here. You want to use the whole body. 
Use those arms. I can do jack arms. Longer, stronger, harder. You know you like harder, right? Sometimes. Three, two, one. Curtsy lunge. Let's start. This leg stays. Get down. Curtsy, lunge, and the knee. Back. We're shifting that foot. We can do tempo change. We can go just a little bit faster. Look out in front so you don't fall. Right, you feel all around that knee. Strengthening not just the muscles, but the tendons and ligaments. Finish the knee. Yeah, that's the way you do it. I heard that. You take all the air out. Here we go, other side. Be loud, right? Be loud at home. Curtsy. Plus more oxygen to the body. Stokes your fire. That's the purpose of either Metcon and HIT. It's the afterburn after the workout. So we push to the edge. And it takes longer for the body to cool down, so it's using more energy. Push up super, and then come to the elbows. Now, we're gonna try for that temple. We're gonna face Carol. Second round, we're gonna face her. Lower down, super. I'm just gonna change my tempo so that you can feel the difference. But you go at your tempo. Have your feet open so when you are in the moving plank, you're not rocking and rolling too much. Make sure you switch what elbow you're dropping to. Whoops, that's all right, a little tight here. Woo, nice job. You're back up. You got that shuffle burpee. Then you can use your neighbor, your mat. Look at Diane's got a brand new mat. The shuffle to Carol, burpee. Do a one leg burpee. Come up and you quickly get over. We got a leap coming up here in a few seconds. Yay. Woo. Great job. We're going to leap to you. I like that look. Here we see a little glow. Leap, walk back, or beasted. Leap, walk back. And you can do every other one. I'm gonna do one where I walk, and one where I beast. Stay low when you walk back. It's gonna engage your glutes more. Ooh, push up, rotate. We're still gonna face you, Carol. We'll rotate to the front. Take a deep breath. Come into your plank, knees or toes. Push up, rotate. Now, go for some speed. Feel the difference. one's on your back. Scissors. Now you know. No need to get up. On your back. See how tempo changed? Whip, we're facing Carol still. For 
still taken care of. Yeah. Quick scissors where you want your hands. Straight legs. Your hands are behind your head. Your elbows are wide. You should not see them. Raise your core. Oh my gosh, right? The sweat is coming. Tighten it up. Smaller. Quicker. Tighten it up. Come on. Take corset around your waist. Push your back into your mat. Come on. Pulling inward. One more move. Why'd you stop before the bell, huh? Come on up. Lunge. We're facing you, Carol. Front leg lunges back. Kick it. Reach for the toe. Jump to switch. Front of the mat. Front leg. Lunge. Kick. Switch. Come up. Get him trying to reach for that big toe. Exhale. Use your core. Strength. You get a lot of stuff in this movement. Come on, to the end. You keep going to the buzzer. Nice job. Woo. You guys get high tens. Nice job, Liza, Diane, Jen, Cheeky, Carol, you. Now we're getting ready for some core, you guys. You're coming to all four. Hands on your shoulders. You're gonna have your knees lifted and press them together. If you want a towel there, you can, but I'm gonna get some water, grab my towel, and I'll meet you on the mat, looking it down. Hands a little bit in front of the shoulders and then the knees come off the ground, press the knees together, and then I'm tucking the tailbone slightly, kind of pushing my hips back a tiny bit. I feel like it's a little bit of a tuck. So again, press the knees in. If you have a little Pilates ball, you could use it, your towel. That's a great way to activate your inner thighs. They're connected into your core. This helps your pelvic floor. Ladies, right? Press in more, come on. Push into the heels of the hands, press into your knees, tuck your tailbone, hold this, breathe. Every time you exhale, tighten up more. Flip it, keep point to Diane, jackknife. In a true jackknife, the legs stay off the floor, right? If you need to, now I'm gonna reach my arms over my head, kick one leg, touch, and switch. Just kind of like a big swing. I'm touching my shin. So you're extended in a straight line. When you come down, and you really, oh. this is like a gymnast move, right? Definitely harder. With the legs off the floor. Swing it around. All four, quickly. Front leg, lift the knee up. We're gonna go knee to elbow. Straighten it out, swing it back. So it goes up, in, back, angle down. I'm dropped on my back elbow. Exhale, the knee comes in. And really cross it, it's way back. When the leg comes up, right? Touch that knee to your elbow. Use the oblique so you work some of the back side of your core. Your glutes are part of your core. We're not going to go anywhere. We're just going to relax the hands. We're going to do the other side. So I'm going to be on my front elbow. Lift the leg up. Knee to elbow. Straighten it out. Swing. Come back to this workout. You could do, you know, some light ankle weights. We were even saying, even in the hip part, you could do just really light weights. But I would say the first time, use body weight. Get the moves. You don't want to get injured. Mm. 
Remember that leg, okay? Swing the feet front, that leg stays on the floor. The other leg extends out, so I have a bent knee. I'm gonna rotate to a knee crunch and then kick the leg. Knee crunch, kick, and I'm trying to force myself up. So I'm using my arm, a little bit of my elbow, and the outside arm. And that's that little bit of a uh. You don't have to do it. You do what you need to. I really rotate. I like how Diane did elbow to the outside of the knee. That's really gonna force you to twist. Super. Other side. So front leg is bent, back leg is straight, hands behind the head, twist knee, kick and reach. And again, I'm gonna reach more toward the pinky toe when the kick is going on. Have a little, oh, come on. Even if you're sitting on the ground, oh, you can swing faster. That's that whole tempo change. All right, relax for a minute. Not a minute, you, got, you do have a little break here. So just have a little mind-body connection here, what's going on. We're gonna flip it onto all four again. We're gonna face Carol this time. Set yourself up for success, right? Again, if you want something in your knees, it's gonna go in there now. We got about 10 seconds before we start. Hands under shoulders, maybe a little bit forward. Lift your knees, squeeze them together. Tuck your tailbone and then push back a little bit. And I'm looking out right between my hands. So you're using the ground as like a force to push down and get more contraction in your waist here. Tighten it up. Press your knees in. Squeeze your thighs. Come on. Look out between your hands. Jack Knight, feet face Carol. Whew. Remember, legs are lifted. Arms reach back. Kicking. First one's always a little wobbly, right? And you're trying to keep your feet from touching the floor. Oh my God, that's so hard. Do as many as you can before you come out of it, right? All four facing, yeah, yeah. we'll face you. Back elbow's gonna drop, front knee is up. Bring it to your elbow, straighten it out, swing it back. And again, when it's coming up, keep it lifted. Don't let the knee drop. It's trying to touch that elbow. On the back of your tricep. Alright, we're just shifting the arms using that back leg. Rest your wrist. You can even try it on both hands too if you want to. Leg up, knee to elbow, and swing it back. Use that breath. Use your exhale to pull it in. Inhale, kind of keeping the brace when you swing the leg back. That's going to protect your spine or your low back. Remember, this is the leg that's going to stay on the floor. The other leg is going to be the moving leg. Let me flip it. So you need to be mindful. I'm not going to tell you right and left. So the back leg stays. 
top leg is gonna do that knee in, kick. So we twist. Taking the elbow, possibly to the outside of the knee, and then reaching for that pinky toe. And I'm putting a little bit of weight, just a little bit in my elbow to come up, or you could do no weight. Ooh, I'm feeling it, how about you? Switch the legs. Again, raise the core, hands behind the head. Knee, and then kick. And that little bit of a, uh. Be feeling that oblique in the back. How do we end up here in the corner looking like enemies? We used to be the team people talk about what a chemistry. I can see Ooh, nice job. Reach the legs and arms long. Workout is done. Yay. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Amazing. Go ahead and take the front knee, hug it into your chest. And then let's drop it across the body here. So let's twist the spine. Reach an opposition. Especially after that core work. And then let's open it out to the other side. So you can grab inside the foot or out, whatever works good for you. I'm grabbing my toes. I'm going to open it out to the side. Not only do you get that inner thigh, but you get a little bit of hip flexor on the straight leg. It's a great one to do with a strap and with a strap. Bend the knee, then bring it in, and then figure four. Oh. Grab anywhere you can. So lift the head for a moment, and then once you get a good stretch here, then try to keep it as you release the head. Let this leg go. You're gonna rock yourself up. Take the leg back. So we're staying on one leg here. We're gonna lift the hips up. So we're in what we call mermaid, lift the hips up. And then release, reach forward, chest drops over. And then do that again. You're gonna come back, hips lift up. Hips drop down, reach forward, and do one more. Hips go up, and exhale forward. And then from that position, I'm gonna extend the back leg out, so go listen to my cues, right, so you don't mess up your legs. That leg that was back is coming in, and we're gonna stretch down. So let's start with a Side opener first, so elbow into the knee, push into the knee, and then side stretch. Right. And then this leg can either be out or in as tight as you want. For me, my, it's my little back that always gets tight. Also, like our hips. Then we're going to lift up. Pull anything up that you need to. We're going to go down towards the thigh. The same thing when we're stretching, you want to use your breath. It can help you to come out of that, whew, I worked really hard. 
but you should feel warm. Like when you do a hit or like a Metcon, which are very similar, you wanna feel like, whew, I worked really hard. It's that intensity that we want. It doesn't mean it has to be a lot of jumping. All right, release, and then come onto your back. Roll it down, and then give me bridge. So let's just kind of counter what we just did there. Release the spine and do two more of those. So roll the spine off the mat. Try to go one vertebrae at a time. And then release. Let's do one more. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, release. Back knee comes into the chest. We're gonna do all those same stretches. Bring it across the body, reach and T. Open up, so grab the toes, and you can have a bend, and you open out to the side. Anybody got any popping, like any crackling? Figure four. So lift the head up for a moment, give it a good stretch, and then you release the head down. One more deep breath here before we come up. Knees in, rock up. That leg is gonna go back. Okay, so we almost have like that 90-90, and then we lift the hips up in mermaid. I don't know why is it mermaid. And then drop chest over leg. Make it kind of flowing. So then we come out, lift hips, inhale, and then exhale, drop forward. We'll do one more. Inhale, press up. From that position, swing onto all four and arch your back. And then release. Arms up. Do one more. I won't forget the other leg. And for a moment. But then I was like, wait, something doesn't feel right. So swing the legs back out in front. So the back leg is gonna come into your thigh. We're gonna be looking to the back of the room. So elbow into the knee, side stretch. Ooh. Definitely wanna make sure I do this side. And I'm reaching out of the body, right? So we don't wanna just sink, we wanna lift up and over. And when we have fluidity in our body, we're gonna come up and do, go down toward the leg. When you have that fluidity in your body, which is flexibility, mobility, it can actually enhance your performance in your workout so that you can get more out of your workouts and prevent injury. Like, who doesn't want that? It seems like we always say, oh, I don't have time for stretching. But then it's too late when you have an injury. So make sure you take time to stretch, work on some Flexibility, mobility. Pio is great. That's a great mobility workout. So fusion. So that if you want to feel like you're still getting a workout, you get the workout and all those benefits. Butterfly stretch. Feet together. Knees drop open. And then we grab the toes. Lower down. And that gets into my deep low back. Hips. ourselves up. Once you come up, we're going to do some spinal extension because we have some of that flexion. 
We're gonna take the hands on the hips. Just push the hips forward and then eyes go up. Relax. So I'm gonna use my breath. Inhale, push hips forward. Almost my thumbs are in my back. Look up. And release. One more time, push forward. And go back even further. And release. Good, big inhale. Have the attitude of gratitude to your amazing body for all it did today. Touch it. In with the air and out. You did amazing. Thank you. Don't you feel much better? Like the stretch just kind of like brings it all in together. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Cheeky. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Liza. We heated up. Thank you, Diane. It's a little hot in here. You see the window? We're starting to sweat. We were sweating here. If you enjoyed this workout, do make sure you thumb it up, comment below, share it with a friend, save it in a playlist, all that great stuff. But if you want more, there's almost 200 videos. There's probably more now that, you know, it's growing in the join membership. So it's below this here. Every video has a join button. It's gray with the words join. If you don't see it on your phone, get to your PC. It's right there, you guys. And we will see you, yes, you, at the next workout. Take care. Thank you, ladies. Woohoo! Yay!